and good morning to everybody. Uh, excited to have uh, uh, some special things going on this weekend as we um, welcome the Penn State Nittany Lions to Bloomington uh, for our 3.30 kickoff on ABC. Uh, I'm going to be recognizing and honoring the 2007 Inside Bowl team. Uh, really excited to have Coach Lynch back, uh, Jane Hepner as well, and, and just all that uh, the Hepner family has meant to this program and Coach Hep and his tremendous legacy. I'm also excited to have uh, a day where we're going to honor our veterans and the salute to Veterans Day. Uh, just so much respect and love and appreciation for what they do for our, for us on a daily basis. And I uh, really always always enjoy honoring them on a special day. And then also having three of our former players, that uh, NFL guys, uh, Jason Spriggs and Mike McFadden and uh, Peyton Hendershot, all going to be with us on game day. So a special day for us Saturday and excited to be able to uh, continue this week and keep preparing as we get ready for Penn State. Questions? Right, Dustin and Mike. Uh, hey, Tom. Um, obviously, I wanted to go back. And I know we keep asking about it, but the quarterback situation, I mean, is one, I mean, just, just to throw it out there, any chance you have a starter that you're going to name? Uh, two, I mean, did, did you have competition this week or did you decide uh, who your guy was going to be after the bye week? Oh, we just, uh, you know, to me, it's a decision that we we made uh, collectively and, and together. And so uh, not really going to talk much more about it. Uh, I know what our guys are doing, preparing hard this week to get ready and uh, excited for Saturday. All right, Mike from Tyler. Yeah, Coach, before the season, you talked a lot about, you know, how enthusiastic you were about A.J. Barner and what he could do this season. I, I know he's dealt with some injuries along the way here. How much of a point of emphasis is he over these last four games to get him more involved in the offense? Yes, uh, you know, it's a great point. You know, unfortunately, he got uh, a, a preseason camp injury uh, of a hamstring that really kind of um, set him back, unfortunately, missed a lot of practice time, uh, really kind of nagged on him and then ended up having another another injury uh, on his foot. And so just kind of been one of those years for him. So, yes, uh, getting him more and more healthy each week. Uh, the bye week was good for him. Uh, don't have any different opinions about him than I had before, uh, how important it is to get him involved in our offense and, and uh, getting him the football. Definitely something that I know uh, we are really working hard to do as he gets more healthy. And obviously, I think his health has really been a big, big part of that uh, in the past several weeks. But at the same time, really want to see him have a great, great finish. Uh, love what, uh, what he brings to our team, his leadership, his ability to make plays. And so, yes, he's another one of the guys that uh, we need to step up to help our offense finish strong. I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, I'm curious, um, when we talked to Donovan McCauley, he seems pretty, pretty quiet, pretty soft spoken. Um, would you agree? Like, how would you how would you describe him? Does he also kind of have a goofy side to him? I guess, how, how would you just describe his personality? Uh, I would say he is soft spoken. Uh, I think he's a guy that, uh, um, you know, he's a funny guy, smiles a lot, um, laughs a lot does have a good sense of humor, um, enjoys life, enjoys his teammates, uh, enjoys um, what he does on a daily basis. So, but yeah, he, he is quiet. You know, he's not a, a loud guy when you come in a room, you know, you know, like some people are on our team, but uh, uh, has that, uh, that quiet confidence about himself and, and uh, what he can do on the football field. So yeah, just a, just a genuinely high quality person that everybody uh, enjoys being around, respects, and uh, thankfully he's a Hoosier. All right, Jim and Jack. Coach, in regards to the quarterback situation, not yours, uh, actually Penn State has also mentioned the potential of not naming a starter. Uh, do you think that is actually in response to you guys or that they're going through their own issues? Or is this some gamesmanship going on? Yeah, it could be a little bit of both. You know, um, I guess you don't really know for sure. We'll find out on game day. Um, there has been some rumblings about that, you know, throughout the season uh, with uh, the young quarterback uh, that they have, 15, who we recruited hard as well and uh, know a lot about him. Very, very talented young player. So, uh, but so you, you do prepare for both. They both played. And so that obviously a statement was made and, and we obviously respond to that accordingly. But yeah, I think it could be a little bit of both and there could be some, some truth there. But I guess, uh, I guess we're both going to find out. Jack, go ahead. 
Hey, Tom. Um, I also wanted to ask about uh, Donovan McCauley, but more so um, on the field, I guess, just how do you kind of evaluate his growth and development um, since making the, the, the move to wide receiver at this point of the season? And then now, I guess, with Cam, uh, do you see him maybe playing a bigger role with Cam out? Yeah, I, I think from a body type perspective, you know, he, he and Cam have a lot of similar qualities uh, in their length and their ability to make plays down the field and, and getting the ball to them in space and be able to run the football effectively as well. So, yeah, I definitely want to see him elevate his play. Uh, need him to. Our team needs him to. I know he wants to. And uh, But I, I think as a player, you know, it's just it does take time, you know, to, to, to learn a new position, and that's what he's doing and, and uh, buying into that, working hard every single day. And so, you know, I want to see him be able able to go out there and play with that confidence that it takes to be able to make those plays, you know, those contested catches and those those game-changing plays that, that this team needs right now and are going to need on Saturday against a really, really talented secondary from Penn State. Seth. You know, I, I guess I guess I guess I guess who starts at quarterback for you, what are you going to need out of that position to give yourself a chance against Penn State? Yeah, to me, you know, it's about, um, you know, we got to make throws. You know, we got to be accurate in our throwing. We got to be really, really good in decision making. Uh, we have to do a great job of moving the chains. You know, you talk about, you know, this game, you know, they're going to do a lot of things defensively uh, that uh, can create some challenges without question. And the bottom line is, is that we need to stay on the field. You know, so third downs are going to be huge. Uh, you know, winning first down is probably the priority uh, that, we, that you think about, you know, to be able to create those third and manageables that we need to have, you know, and stay out of those third longs. So they're very dangerous when you get in those third long situations as a team. And so that's going to be a huge priority for that position to be able to help us get to that point. And then to me, it's just protecting the football. You know, and that's an emphasis that we obviously always have. Uh, we know we got to do a great job of that. Uh, that's hurt us the last couple of weeks. And, uh, and it's something that has been a huge priority. So those things are the ones that I would say we are emphasizing with the, the person that's going to be playing quarterback for us. All right, Mike. Yeah, Coach, I want to go back to one more thing you said before the season when we were asking you about the, the quarterback situation. You said you had no plans to go into games with planning to play multiple quarterbacks. Uh, I'm not asking you if you're going to do that on Saturday. I know you wouldn't tell us, but as an overarching philosophy, is that something you believe in in the right situation or is it just something you want to avoid if at all possible? Yeah, I mean, I just think, you know, you, you don't want the guy to feel like that, you know, he, he's in fear of getting yanked, you know, and you're just going back and forth with different guys. And, and, and I think that's important, you know, but that doesn't mean you're not going to make some changes at times and, and different situations may demand that and, and different guys have opportunities to play, you know, so, but, uh, and that's never set in stone, you know, for, per se, for, but as, as, a, as a flaw, you know, some guys say, hey, you know what, I like playing multiple guys. I like having that rotation and keeping teams off balance throughout games. And as you've notice we haven't done that in the past uh, don't expect to do that in the future uh, but uh, obviously you know you know at this point you know and at this time of the season you're just trying to do everything you can do to help yourselves you know find a way to be be successful on game day and whatever that takes you know you need to be able to do that and and uh, bottom line is, is that that position is a critical position uh, they run the offense just like linebackers run the defense and we need for that guy to step up and, and lead our team to victory on Saturday all right thanks Tom awesome have a great day Elio.